It's a beautiful sunny day and Shadow and I are going rock hounding. We found a location in this book right here, Rock Hounding, Utah, outside of Modena, Utah, very remote, about an hour and a half from here. We're gonna go looking for obsidian, chalcedony, and whatever else we can find. Shadow buddy, are you ready? Come on, let's go. Up, up, up. Up you go. Good boy. You ready? We're off. All right, we're here. The book said to go about 5.5 miles from when you turn onto Modena Canyon Road. I went 5.8 and pulled over at this little abandoned house. Shadow, come here. Now, when you come out to these kind of remote areas, it's very important to be prepared. We're outside of cell coverage, we're on our own, and we need to be able to uh, take care of ourselves if something happens. So that's the first thing I do is uh, make sure I got everything I need and ready. And that starts with Shadow. Shadow, come here, boy. This is coyote country, and there are coyotes, so I have to put Shadow's gear on him. I think we'll wander up into those hills up there. Well, this is a nice little find coming down the canyon. Nice stream of water. I think this would be a great place to check out, just kind of walk along because it carves through and exposes different rocks. Yeah, let's check along this stream bed here. Uh, this here. That's really interesting. I mean, it's very, oh, it's very shiny and it's got some sharp edges. This, this might be a form of obsidian right here. Okay, we've made ourselves up to this hillside here and you can see there's a lot of volcanic rock. You know, not real dark volcanic rock either, but a lot of volcanic rock. So let's see what we can find around here. Oh, that's a beautiful jasper. Yeah, oh, we're gonna find all kinds of things around here. Oh, there's a beautiful example. That's a keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. Oops. Detroital chalcedony. Oh, that's so pretty. So cool. All right, we're keeping that one. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Detroital chalcedony. And this one here, which is just a little dab on that volcanic rock. So we'll, we'll leave that one, and we'll take this beautiful one. This is a really nice example of another piece of Betroidal chalcedony. There's a lot of this up here. This has been worth the trip just to see this, to find these things. Look at that thing. I think I'll just leave that right there because that cactus is really happy just the way it is. And I don't like to disturb things that are alive. 
you know they work hard to survive out in these harsh desert climates so many interesting things look at that there You know, it's, it looks like it's some form of chalcedony. Oh, that's beautiful. It looks like a go, oh, it does. It goes all the way around. Oh, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Definitely a keeper. here yeah more of this this looks almost like it goes all the way through see that what I just stepped in that is not shadow's paw with my footprint on top of it that is a mountain lion Okay, little buddy, I got food for you too, and water. All right, let's sit down and do some studying. I'm learning a little bit more about obsidian. Obsidian is a naturally occurring volcanic glass, and it occurs when lava cools very rapidly, too rapidly to form crystals, and thus it is very glassy and, and waxy. It can come in a variety of different colors, including transparent. So we're going to go and look for more obsidian. Well, we're going to Enjoy our lunch a little bit more here. Shadow's had his. I'm eating mine. And then we're going to drive down the road and see if we can find some more black obsidian. Okay, Shadow and I ditched the book and I decided to follow the signs. I know there's uh, a lot of obsidian up here in this canyon somewhere. And I just said to myself, I'm going to where I can see the lava flows and signs of volcanic activity. So we turned off of this little road and we're going to start searching for whatever we can find. And again, I think this looks a lot more promising than just obsidian, but there's a piece right there. That's a small piece, but that's what we're looking for. So if they're small pieces, there will be big pieces. So I'm not going to take that one. It's really small. To me, this looks like a large piece of obsidian that smaller pieces could be chipped off of. But look at it. It's glassy. It's more gray. You know, I'm going to hit it with a hammer and see what happens to it. Let's see what happens. I feel like right there. Very glassy, microcrystalline. Look at this. Look at now. If, that, if you just found that on the side of the road, you, that's obsidian. It's obsidian with veins of of chalcedony running through it, I believe. Wow, that is really cool. You know, if I didn't have to work tomorrow, I would just pull to the side of the road here and camp and spend the night. It's so beautiful by that little creek. But I do have to work tomorrow, so I got to get back 
and I got to make this video. Thanks for coming along with us. We had a lot of fun.